Elidge Gardens is a world-class theme park located in Denver, Colorado, and with it being home to over 40 attractions, there is no wonder it is so popular. However, today we are going to count down the top 10 rides at Elidge Gardens. Starting off at number 10, we have Troker, and no matter whether you want to get dizzier than you have ever got before or you are just looking for a fun family flat ride then this is the ride for you. The only thing is though it is not your normal flat ride as once you have boarded one of the many freedom rocking gondolas not only will you spin around non-stop onto axis but then you will also be lifted and tilted by a mechanical arm creating, let's just say, a pretty crazy experience. And so, I would feel wrong not putting this ride on our top 10 list. Did Troker not get you dizzy enough? Well, if so, then do not fear. As our number 9 position, we have Hollywood and Vine. And despite it not looking like a lot, trust me when I say... It will sure do the trick, with as soon as you have decided whether you are on team blue, green, yellow or red, you will get the opportunity to once again spin on two axis for the entire one minute and a half duration of the ride. For me however, what makes this ride so crazy is the fact that in addition to this, your car will also rotate instead of rocking freely, causing even the biggest of thrill seekers in the group to hold on very, and I mean very, tight. You can't have a theme park without a swing ride, and Elitch Gardens is no exception. As for our number 8 position, we have Star Flyer, and with it standing 17 stories in the air, Already, I know some of you are going to be like, no way, Jose. However, it does not stop there, because when you have made it to this height, your two-person seat that you have previously boarded with up to one other thrill seeker will begin to spin around through the sky at 50 miles per hour, providing both an amazing view across the park as well as surrounding area, in addition to an experience that will never, ever be forgotten. It is time for our first roller coaster on the list, as for our number 7 position, we have Boomerang, the park's believe it or not, Boomerang ride. And so before we do begin to talk about the experience itself, with this ride being so common around the world, if you are visiting the park on a busy day, then we would suggest riding the more unique attractions first. Yet if you do get a chance to ride, you will definitely not be disappointed, with your train not only completing a drop, cobra roll and loop forwards, but backwards too, which is pretty awesome if you ask me. Who here has ever wanted their minds erased? Well, if you said yes or no, then you must take a ride on our number 6 spot, Mind Eraser, as after riding this attraction, you will definitely want that. Ding ding. Okay, that was a horrendous joke, however this ride sure isn't, with even though it is a dreaded Vekoma SLC, as long as you keep your heads forward and ignore the roughness that this ride can get, nothing beats so many drops, inversions, in addition to those beloved twists and turns that this ride provides as you race around the track at 50 miles per hour. Therefore, there is no doubt in my mind that this should be on your bucket list. Top 5 Work, work, and coming in for this position, we have Brain Dead, 
the ride which has taken your classic flat ride to the next level. And here is how. Now of course it would not be a flat ride without twisting or flipping upside down a few times. And Brain Dead is no different. Yet what brings this ride to the next level is the fact that the entire ride is a literal loop. Meaning that throughout its 3 minute duration you will be heading upside down again and again and again as well as getting some serious hang time that you do not need to be a rocket scientist to know is intense. Have you ever wanted to complete that famous roller coaster loop without the thrills of dangling your legs, flipping or clinging around non-stop? Well if you said yes then you must take a ride on our number 4 spot, Signed Winder, as you can do just that. Nevertheless, it is not all easy coasting, as once you have boarded the train and for the best experience, we would suggest the front, similar to Boomerang, as soon as you have completed the loop forwards, before you can say, wow, that is amazing, you will be shot back to complete it, once again, however, this time, backwards. Here we are at the top 3 rides at the park, and for this spot, things are starting to become a lot more crazy, as we have Half Pipe, and themed towards a skater adventure, just looking at this ride is amazing, with its giant skateboard rising both up and down the Half Pipe. And on ride does not disappoint either, with whilst you are rocking back and forth to a height of 30 feet, you will also spin around non-stop, creating some pretty crazy interactions with the people opposite, and so in my eyes a trip to the park would be nowhere near complete without this skate, quite literally like no other. If you are scared of heights, then skip to number 1, as for our number 2 spot we have Tower of Doom, and if you guess by the name that this is not for the faint of heart, well then you would not be wrong, as for starters with it standing at a height of 210 feet, already it is petrifying, however we are still not at the best or worse depending on how you look at it, part yet, as once you are at this height, you will then plummet back down to planet earth in a matter of seconds. How scary is that? The question is though, do you think you have what it takes to ride, or would you rather watch it from ground level? We have made it to the number one spot, and in my opinion for the best ride at the park, we have got no other than Twister 2. And where do I begin when talking about this ride? As if I was going to talk about every great part, we would literally be here all day. Yet to start from the beginning, as soon as you walk into the park and see this giant 100 foot wooden structure, you will be instantly blown away. Ding ding. And this only continues on the ride itself with you completing and get ready for it. Massive drops, airtime hills, bank turns, helixes, tunnel sections and the list goes on and on at a speed of 55 miles per hour. And so I think it is very easy to see why this is the best ride at the park. Thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.